Welcome back, guys. Today we're going to be comparing two cars, the Lotus Elise and the Smart Car. Now, you might be wondering why we're comparing these two cars specifically. Well, recently I am purchasing a car in Cyprus, and the roads in Cyprus are very small, very tight. And what I wanted was something fun and sporty. And, you know, I've always been interested in the smart car. These two cars have a lot in common, believe it or not. They're both mid-engine. They're both made of plastic. Uh, they're both, both very light, minimalist. So that's why we're comparing them. So here we go. So this is a 2016 smart car. And this is the turbo version. And, okay, is it a cool car? Yeah, come with me. We've been driving it now for two days and it's an interesting car um, you know it's more fun than you would think and I was expecting to be disappointed with it but no actually it's pretty neat one really cool thing super easy to park I know that doesn't make everybody says the same thing but the turning radius is unbelievably tight so come take a look at this when I parked it Look at this. I parked it like I normally would a regular car, and you can see that I left all this space. <laughs> so, it's very funny. So, uh, now we're going to show you the Lotus Elise, and we'll get back with you. Thank you. All right. There's no denying the styling. It's breathtaking. It is very pretty. Uh, from the outside, this car looks like, you know, rich and a million dollars. Uh, it's sexy, which is important in a sports car. The inside is very minimalist. Um, you know, it's more uncomfortable than even the Ferrari. Uh, you know, you're really kind of packaged in there. Can you drive it? Sure. You can see I'm kind of a big guy, but I can get in there. I'm six one and you know, kind of large, but I can get in there no problem. But it's not comfortable, really. Um, you know, I used to have a Austin Healey Sprite, an MG Midget, which is very small cars. I've had multiple Mazda Miatas. And, of course, I can deal with those cars. And, and I could deal with this, too. But I just want you to be aware that it is a tight squeeze, you know. Uh, driving these uh, Lotus Elises. So during the course of uh, about a week there, I, I drove two Lotus Elises, two different Lotus, Lotus Elises, and was deciding what I wanted to buy. Uh, so I'm just going over what I'm thinking here with you. Um, you know, you've got a Toyota engine in there. The thing I love about it is that it's very beautiful from the outside. The the uh, top that you see here, both are soft tops. Um, they are a little bit of a pain, but nothing crazy to put up and take down. It's kind of basically take it off like a target top. Um, you know, handling, yeah, it's like it's on rails. The car corners wonderfully. Um, they are quick, but in a minute I'm going to be discussing with you the engine specifically. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Uh, expense of keeping one of these cars, yeah, their parts are not that easy to get, uh, which is something to think about. But when you park it somewhere and you look back at it, it is a gorgeous car. Uh, something that you would want to have in pictures. So here's your engine. Lotus Elise engine. Very tight to get to anything in here. Uh, but I was also very disappointed in one aspect. So this is a Toyota engine. And I had the weird experience of driving the car you see in the center here. This uh, Toyota Yaris. At the same moment that I just was driving the Lotus Elise. And the engine felt exactly the same. And that was disappointing to me. I remember the Toyota MR2. And that was quite a wonderful sounding engine, and it seemed to have a lot more low end torque. Uh, the the Elise did not have the torque in the beginning. You had to get to higher RPMs to make it actually go anywhere. 
So what I was saying is you must rev the engine like crazy. Once you get off over about 4,000 RPMs, yes, the car does really move, but not in the low RPMs. So it was disappointing in this aspect. Thanks a lot for coming along. I will talk to you in the next video and we'll be discussing the smart car.